Hi. So this week I've learnt how to do two things and discovered a third thing completely by accident. The first thing I've learnt how to do is to transpose notes using the SQ1. Uh, I love the SQ1, but up to now I've only been able to get it to play notes in the same key. I can't transpose them up or down. Um, but what I've discovered is if I use it as an eight step sequencer with the eight steps coming out of channel A say, I can use the step jump in channel B to transpose. And I do this by taking channel A into the vault per octave of the plats and then I can send CV from channel B into the FM input and transpose the entire sequence, which is great because it means I can add a bit of variety to the sequence I'm playing. The second thing I've learned how to do, and this is probably the thing I'm most excited about, is to add swing to the SQ1 and from the SQ1 into my little modular. And this was actually really easy as it turned out. All I did was download an app called Sync Control by Korg uh, onto my phone. And that goes into the sync in in the SQ1. And it takes its time from that, takes the clock from that. And that's got a swing function, a shuffle function on it, which means I can have a sequence uh, swinging, which really adds a, a different feel to it. Now, the third thing, my accidental discovery, uh, which I imagine people will laugh at me about, I've since learned it's common knowledge, but I didn't know at the time, was that the model input on the plats changes the the algorithm. Um, I had, I, I've just never put a wire in there, never thought about it, but the other day I was plugging a cable into what I thought was a Tombra, but I plugged it by mistake into the model input, and plats just went shooting about, the lights running up and down, and first this sort of note and then a bass note and then a snare drum and wait it's great and <laughs> I thought you know why did I not know this but but I didn't and I can see now all sorts of applications for it. it's obvious you can probably use it as some sort of drum machine there's loads for me to explore there but I had no idea <laughs> you know I just I just did not know so uh, that was really good fun to discover that um and so all of a sudden I can transpose notes, I can swing my modular, and I can change the models really quickly on plats. Well, I had to create a patch that took advantage of these elements. Um, I'm not quite sure how I describe what I've ended up with, um, but what I think it does demonstrate is how you can take a fairly ordinary sounding sequence and add those elements and you can turn it into something it's quite cool. I mean, there's, it starts off really boring. And as I add the swing and the jumping around plats and the transposition, um, it gets better. And there are a few bars here and there that sound really great, I think. Uh, so I'd encourage you to stay with it, even if you're thinking it's sounding a bit rubbish at the beginning. But um, yeah, uh, it's got something about it, I think. I hope you like it too. Thanks very much. Bye.